Now, we have to understand what we call past life here in the world of souls does not is not considered past. It's considered life in general. We live different consciousness all at the same time. But because we are in a physical body, we like to call it past, future, or present because we obey time. Now, back to what I was saying about the soul contracts. We have to understand, it's just like if people, human beings would go to the supermarket for shopping. A lot of them will go back home. Oh, I'm sure some of, some of them during the day or a big percentage is to say, oh, we forgot something. We forgot something we needed to get. We need to go back to the supermarket and get what we're missing. And each person will be missing a different ingredient. Some will forget their milk, some will forget their meat, some their vegetables. Why am I saying this? It's because this life is an illusion. This, this physical consciousness, okay, that we're living in average, okay? Because like I said, according to your soul contract, you can go at any time. We can all depart from this world at any time. It's one of the things that we really, our actions, our knowledge, our talent, our, we, can't, we can't stop it. We don't, we don't like to think about it, but we, in, in average, we live between 80 and 90 to 90 years, okay? It depends where we live and how we live. But in that time, we really just need to do the spiritual work so we can have better awareness in the afterlife. So what people don't understand is that a lot of people don't, and they need to, because it's really important to know that this physical world, this physical consciousness and the afterlife are not just point A to point B. They're not just one spot to another. There's many, many other realms. There are many other shades of colors of consciousness that when we live this physical body, we have to go through like portals, just like portals to go through. And for that, all the knowledge, all the spiritual things that we do here will be used there. None of the stuff that we do physically or acquire physically here will help us. Our money won't help us. The fact that we had a good job, the fact that we were good athletes, the fact that we have good cars, that doesn't mean anything. How we are and how much we spiritually awaken in this physical body will be the, the, the light, the lighthouse that's going to lead us past this physical body. I know because I've been there and it's all I'm saying is based on my personal experience, of course. You know, in the soul world, when you are in this physical body, in this physical consciousness, and you have challenges, especially when it comes to poverty, which can be one of the most terrible challenges somebody can experience. And I'll tell you why, because it's a physical challenge. You know, you, you poor. You can provide for yourself food. You can provide for yourself shelter at times. You can provide for yourself heating and cooling and all that stuff. And at the same time, it leads to depression. It leads to tension. It leads to problems. It leads to sadness. So it's a challenge that it's very, very, very bearing and heavy. And most of the time, people who are poor wish that, that they weren't poor, okay? A lot of them wish that, you know, so now we have a challenge that we know that our soul didn't really choose. A lot of us are born to poverty. We don't really control that. But that's, you know, if you look at it from physical perspective and from even egoistic perspective, you're saying, well, why am I not enjoying all the good physical things this world has to offer? And I have to suffer these challenges and, and my soul has to cry every night and pray and wish for the best. And while the others don't even, you know, have the type of soul that I do and they get everything they want. You know, the more challenges, the more physical challenges we have in this world indicates the size of our soul, indicates the mission of our soul, indicates the nature of our soul and the realms that our soul departed from us. If the souls departed from higher realms, they're going to depart into challenges, just like special forces in the military. You get the best trained people and the toughest people to the toughest spots. You're not going to send special marine force to Disneyland. You're going to send them to the battlefield. 